Hey, hey, you guys, welcome to another episode of Some More Love Juice. Definitely make sure that you go ahead, turn on your post notifications, and subscribe. Become part of our community, part of our, you know, family, <laughs> all right? Um, and don't miss any of my awesome videos. Definitely make sure you share and you like and all the good stuff. And I definitely want to see what you guys have to say on different topics that we do here for this particular segment. So with today's video, we're gonna be talking about Jenny Mai. So she recently has been in the headlines because she is currently pregnant. And I used to be a view watcher, especially when Tamar was on. I think I watched like every episode, no lie. And I, yeah, like I was an avid watcher all the time. And I remember that when she was with her last husband that she was with, who was a Caucasian man, that she said that she just was not interested in being a mom. And it was just not something that she wanted to do. She didn't see it in her cards at all. And I believe from what she said that that was one of the main reasons why they kind of ended up splitting because he, if I remember correctly, I think he cheated on her with somebody else. Um, and he just kind of, he knew what he desired. He desired to have somebody that would have his child. Like that's what he wanted. And that's something that she just didn't want to do. So it, now it's, you know, she, her and, and Jeezy, she's pregnant. So now it's like, wait, what happened to all that stuff that you were saying before? And that's what sometimes men or women in a relationship, sometimes you have to look at it and you have to kind of open your eyes and realize what's happening. So for me, what I see that happened here is there could have been a silent with you that we just didn't get to hear or she didn't speak on. You know, sometimes it's not just that they don't want it. It's just that they don't want it with you. But then it's like, you will, you will like ask this person, you will be, literally like almost be begging somebody to change their ways or, you know, get their act together, do this, do that. And they won't do it. But then all of a sudden they get into a new relationship and they're doing all the things that you were literally almost begging on your knees for them to do. And that's what it is sometimes. So sometimes you just have to like kind of reevaluate and see like, Sometimes your views might not line up. Sometimes you just have to split ways. And these are instances where you kind of see like some people are willing to do things when they feel like they see a real future, when they see that it's real true love, when they feel like this is what I really want, as opposed to you're with somebody now and none of those, they're not able to meet your needs. It's like, it's funny how, you know, she couldn't do it before, but now all of a sudden she's with somebody that she truly feels like she loves and, you know, all these things that she's, they have all the check marks that she wanted. Um, he's not just her kinky little fetish or whatever. And <laughs> which that was a whole nother thing. Cause didn't she say that the white man was the one that she wanted to marry? I mean, I'm kind of paraphrasing. I could be wrong. And my memory ain't the best, but I feel like I heard her say something like the white man was the one that she sees herself with, but like kind of like the black man is almost like a kinky little fetish, you know, like that's the one that she, she'll have on the side or whatever. Well, not on the side, but yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. Like, you know, that's like the one that she fantasizes about or the one that she knows can lay it on her real quick. You know, she'll have sex with them, but she probably won't wife them, you know, kind of speaking like a dude or whatever. So that's how you know, it, that, that, was, that was a little bit interesting to me that she moved forward with him. But, you know, sometimes people do say ignorant things and then, like, later on in life they change. I remember just for reference purf purposes that Tamar did say something like that as far as, like, having children and stuff. And then, like, later on, look at her. She's a mom. She's in love with her little baby. Like, that's her greatest gift. That's her motivation to live so you just never know, to be honest, like, you know, you could, you could, sometimes you say things today and then the person that you become is somebody totally different from who you were today. You, you feel me? You know, and I feel like people have that right to change. You know, people have the right to grow. And I'm going to let you guys hear exactly what she said, like a little insert of it. 
and you know you guys can kind of judge for yourself and thanks so much for watching guys here goes the clip i will see you guys on the next one is off to a great, yes. uh, great start, right? including the fact that I am pregnant. <laughs> You know, I've never really truly felt safe. And of course it has to do with things that happened when I was younger, but when you know what feeling unsafe is like, that becomes your world. And falling in love with Jeezy, meeting somebody who also didn't feel safe in their life, mm. we began to really create a place where our happiness spelled out what safe looked like oh, around us. That's beautiful. It feels surreal because yeah. this is the same home that I said so many defiant things. You know, I was like, I know exactly what I want. I know exactly what kind of woman I want to be. And I always said I'd never be a mom. Yeah. And there's wow. so many reasons now that are coming to fruition as to why I would have said that then. But I do know that you never say never. Yeah. Yes. And that love can really change you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm so thankful to be on a show that's really helped me to grow and to evolve and to see myself differently than I would have ever imagined seeing myself. And this is the only place, honestly, when Jeezy and I were talking, I was like, I, I got to come home and tell my girls. Yeah. I got to come home and tell the girls that have always accepted me at every stage of my life have been through my ups and downs and have always encouraged me to a place where I feel like you all individually always told me to that if I wanted to be a mom, yes, and no, I would argue mom. with you. Come me on, and Jean. Jeannie full on would have arguments behind the stage oh. and I'm like, you'd be an amazing mother. Stop <laughs> yeah. saying that. Don't, I mean, obviously she had the right to decide, but if we're honest, your reasoning sometimes was, was was like I you know I wouldn't want to mess up a kid and I'm like yeah. you are an amazing yeah. woman and we like, kept don't allow you that fear. too we kept this is the thing this Such, is so we much are love. so honored that you are letting us know yeah. what are you gonna do without me huh? absolutely nothing yeah. I'm a mess <laughs> yeah. wow hello Greece.